Hey you guys and welcome back to Mochi Design. Today we are going into Adobe Express and we're going to make a graphic design poster from scratch. So we first started with the poster preset just to get the size and then on the side it started off with media and we can type in what we would like pictures of. But I'm first going to start with just making a background color by going to more colors and I want a blue color, a light blue color. So we're going to start with that. And now we're going to look for some pictures to put into the actual poster and some different assets and graphics as well. So I want some 3D elements here and I like these bubbles but the bubbles have a background so I want to take off that background and I do that by clicking on it and then this crop came, comes up but I X that out and then there's a button that comes up that says remove background and that's how easy it is in Adobe Express you just hit that button and there it is it's gone and so we have one of this little bubbly 3D picture and we're going to have, make two of them by hitting alt so now we have two on either side at the moment so on either side of the frame as well. Then we go to effects and we can change the colors while keeping all the different dimensions there. So we're going into a pink color and now we have a pink and a purple. There's also other options like adjustments if you want to fine tune everything and change sharpen things. So I decided to sharpen this particular pink one here. 56 and add some shadows as well and I'm playing around with it a little bit here to kind of see if I want to show all the bubbles and so now we're going to the text option they have a nice text option where you can actually use different stylized AI inspired text so I'm going into that and going to choose what I want. I'm just going to start with clicking anything for now. Then it has these guidelines they want me to agree to. And so far, this it's showing other things, but I want a 3D paintbrush effect on it. And it was going really slow here, but it'll catch up in a moment. And so we want 3D paintbrush, and we'll see what shows up for this particular prompt that we're putting in, AI prompt. is on realistic as well. So you see some of the options have an actual paintbrush on it. And then it also has some paint splatters a bit, but the background is this silver color, which I'm not sure if I want that silver color. So yeah, I think we're going to change the silvery color here to maybe a purple. And it also has a realistic effect on it, so we'll also change that as well to something different. That's kind of what it's showing up. It looks like it says red inside of the actual pink words. It looks like it says R-E-D if you look at the eye. I don't know if I'm just making that up, but it looks like that to me. And you can choose different options and then it'll show up on the side. But I decided that this isn't really what I'm looking for. So we're going to the style and we're going to go into neon. And see if anything changes. And I decide to also add purple in here. So it doesn't keep giving me this grayish color. Give it a little bit of help here to figure out what I want. So you could definitely add colors to things. And see that's showing up more like what I want it to look like. Of course I have to change the words, it shouldn't say pink. <laughs> but this is coming up more like what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to triple click and then type in graphic. I like the way the eye comes up, it's all swirly and everything. So I just straighten out everything and then I go to the end and hit shift and make it go smaller and smaller and smaller. 
put it in the center for now. And then I also want the words design on here as well. So there's a button that says tint. I changed it to a tint, but can you guys see a difference? Because I can't quite see a difference. It could be because I put purple there, but... So we're going to go back and this interface it, when I first started using it was a little bit confusing to me just having to go back 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 all the time um, it just was a little confusing at one time so they give you options recommended text options here so you can kind of see what they have there's more than what I'm showing but I like that one I think it has a very graphic design type feel with it with the bottom of the letters being a little bit more smushed in and then kind of stretched at the top and I'll make it a little bit bigger to 72 and so there was on the side but I put it in the middle but I figured I kind of liked it on the side though and so you can also add shadows and I like the smooth shadow. I feel like it's a cleaner look and it's easier to read. I'm going to change the color to the sh of the shadow, which you can do in Adobe Express, to this pale color. Put it on the side here. Okay. Then I wanted some a barcode type design, so I went into Elements and typed in barcode and I like that one I ended up not picking that one at first but looking at the other options and there's other things here you can look at background shapes icons there was no shapes that popped up for barcode that's okay there are some for icon so I ended up choosing this which doesn't really look like a barcode to me But, you know, it has something that I like about it, so. If you look on the right side, it shows all the different assets that you've used. And so I ended up making it white because it has a lot of colors going on here. So I didn't want to add any extra colors in what we already have. And so positioning everything here. And then I decided, oh, I kind of liked that barcode thing from before. Something about it. So I used that again and trying to figure out where it looks good and stretching it out. And then I kind of wanted it even too. Then I started to think, hmm, I feel like something about the composition of the page where everything is laid out is not quite where I would like it to be and I kind of want more of a white space in the actual photo where something where everything is kind of more blank instead of there's things all over the whole page so I wanted to switch that up a bit so I decided to move some of these blobs more towards the middle to give it more space and more cluttered in the middle And then I decided, okay, let's just move them to the end and keep the keep it clear where it says graphic design, keep that more where the focus is. And I still felt like it needed something. It's a poster, but it's not saying much. So we'll change some of that. I wanted to find something that would curve the lettering. I didn't quite see that. I have to look more to see if there is something like that. Or if I would need to go into regular Photoshop to do this. But there are some options, animation, shadow. And I did decide to go with the shadow and make it jump off the page a little bit more. Make it more 3D. And 
And so now we're going to add some text. So I go to add your text and I do remember there are certain things about when it comes to the text. You don't want everything to compete for attention on the page. There's a lot going on. So I decided to just make a little element that's kind of understated and not really showing up and competing with everything else that's already there. So I put is it functional graphic design is it functional and because I was thinking of functional art <clears throat> so that's kind of what I went with and I wanted to do this uh, this light, light light text but it was uh, it wasn't actually selected so I had to go back and select it and go back again it didn't just because of that whole thing being selected it needed to be directly selected so there it is it says is it functional I'm just gonna make it smaller here small 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 and then I need to find an empty spot for it I think that's a good small size I'm just gonna put it right in the corner here <laughs> so it is it is called it is popping out a little bit in that it's in the corner. Follow for more!